All right, so we got a 2004 Jeep Liberty. Uh, it is the 3.7, and our complaint is the blower motor does not work on any of the settings. So nothing, not even one. Um, typically what happens on these older systems, one, two, three will be through uh, the resistor pack, and then four won't even go through the resistor pack. It'll uh, be a separate uh, full power circuit. So a lot of times if you have a resistor issue, one, two, three might not work, but then you go to four and you'll have fan speed on high. This isn't the case. We have no speeds. So I'll show you what I do. Uh, first thing I go after is the blower motor. I'll just disconnect the blower motor and put uh, a test light directly across it and test it from there. Okay, so our blower motor is under the dash. Um, we do have our dash panel that comes off. Uh, just a couple um, seven mil screws. Hold that on. Then up under there, there's our blower motor. There's our connector. It's got one of the lock tabs on it, so we just pop that off. Depress that. So we get one hand to get pulled out. So I'm just going to put a test light across both of those with the blower supposedly on. So oops, get that out of the way. So those are a test light. It's a high current. It does about two amps. And I'll just put those in there. So let me set this up and I'll show you. Alrighty, needed two hands for that. Um, so we got it gingerly front probed. We don't want to spread those terminals. Get the light out of the way. And we'll go over there. We are on three, four, and it's on, but it's not lit um, on any of the settings. I'll move that across. We see no power coming through there, so we don't know if it's power or ground. Um, I don't bother to check to see who's who. Um, uh, at this point, I'll just go right to the blower motor resistor. So in this case, the blower motor resistor is behind the glow box. So let me get that down. I'll need another hand for that. Alrighty, I got her down. Um, so it's just these two tabs you push in. And then in there is our blower motor resistor. Now, more often than not, um, the, you get a bad connection from heat um, and age. And a lot of times you'll just find the, the resistor itself will be bad and you could get a burnt terminal. So a lot of times you need the resistor and the pigtail. Um, but rather than just yanking it off and checking for burnt, um, I will go through and look at the wires because uh, this one's nice and easy to, to front probe. So we got our wiring diagram. Okay, okay, let's see if we can find right here. There's our blower motor, there's our resistor. So, uh, if we see this red light blue wire, follow that across. It comes from the blower motor relay, and we follow that across on uh, through terminal 30, it goes just to a red, and it comes up to that one big 40 amp fuse. Um, so because the power comes directly from there uh, and none of the settings go, um, maybe I will try that first. And that's the red light blue all the way down at the connector at the blower motor. It doesn't even come in here. So I'll get set up to check that. Okay, so one of the things that I always do when I'm setting up to do this kind of testing is I got this uh, power probe extensions. So they look like that. They're nice banana plugs. So I can put all my testers in there. And the other end is battery clamps I put up to the battery. So this way when I'm doing testing, I, I know I have a good power and I know I have a good ground that I can test from. I don't have to hook my test light up to uh, something metal and hope that it's a, a good ground. I know that is a good ground. So we got the other end of the test light. We can pull this out. And if we go back, uh, 
where are we? So the red, light blue is our power. So that would be the one closest. Let's see if I can oh, get that finger out of the way. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, and you can see our power is good. So that means we have nothing on the ground. So, since we have this right here, I'll switch this over to power and we'll look for that ground. Maybe we have just a bad uh, blower. So, our red light blue is power. We're looking for a ground, so that'll be the other one. Okay, and it's not lit. I will go through, um, I don't know if I'll be able to hold that on there. Uh, can I do this with one hand? I'll keep you there, probably not. Um, one second. Okay, so I have that hooked up on the ground wire and I'm just gonna go through all, all the different settings. So, I don't see any ground, or I don't see any light in um, the test light does not light up on any settings, so that means we have a ground uh, issue. Now, what I can also do is maybe the main ground is bad, but it's doubtful. Is we can go to here, and one of these will be the ground su uh, supply for here, and the other will be the wire that goes down to that blower motor. So it's a little hard to not be in the way. Okay, that side doesn't light. Let's go to the side. There we go. Okay, so we know that our our ground wire uh, is fine. So this is the the ground that goes to our blower motor resistor. Just nothing is coming out of there. Why not? So what we can do is we will let's rule out the fan first um, so what I'm gonna do um, what can we do well we know this wire here um, the black with pinkish wire on the inside we know that's the one that goes down to our blower motor connector so and the one on the outside is the, the the main ground, and that one's good. So what I can do is I can plug in this blower motor again. Let me just quickly do that. Uh, I'm just gonna set you down for a second. Okay, so this one right here on the inside, I'm gonna supply a ground to that, and then our fan should spin. So what we could do, if we had a paper clip, we could jumper these two wires. That would provide the ground. I'm gonna use my pin that I got hooked up to this ground here. Uh, I'm gonna try and do it quickly. I'm using one of my bad ones because this could uh, melt this wire, even if I'm going quickly. So, because this will be turning the fan on full bore. So let's quickly, I can't really see. There we go, we can hear that. Okay, so we know that our blower works. Um, so we could either have uh, a blower resistor issue with a wire harness issue, which is most likely, or we could have a control issue. Uh, so let's go back to our wiring diagram. So if we can follow this, we got high, and that comes down to our AC heater control. That high comes right here as high driver. Okay, so that would be the full ground for our high. And then these would be our other grounds um, for our other settings. Uh, so what we'll be looking at, so we'll say if you're at low, each of these, depending upon the setting, should be a full ground. Um, if you're on low, the heater control unit will provide a ground here, then it'll go through all these resistors and it gets knocked down to our actual blower motor. Um, then medium 
is another ground that goes to less resistors and so forth, so forth, so forth. Um, so we know that each of these should be grounds in turn as we go through our, our settings if this works. So let's take a look at that. Uh, hopefully that made sense. So we got our test light hooked up to power and we will start with our low which is the tan wire uh, and then we'll go tan, light green, light blue and then black. And if we look in there that is actually how this um, coloring works. So this is the low, but this would be one, I mean, this would be two, this would be three, and then this one would be four. So let's see, make sure that works. We'll start off on one. Okay, lights. Now, actually, since these are all connected, these should kind of light too. To that resistor pack if it's the resistor packs fine but we don't think it is so we'll now switch to two and you're lit now we'll move over to three three is lit now we'll move over to four click okay four are we on there good enough Okay, so that's why that's not lit. Um, this one here is actually the high driver that's coming from the module. This one here, yeah, that's what we thought. This is the one that actually goes down to our blower fan. So this is one, and it lit. This is two, and it lit. This is three, it lit. And this is four, and it lit. So that means our control unit's fine. So that leads for sure our blower motor resistor and or our harness, our pigtail. So let's get that unplugged. Okay, well looking at this, this is nice. None of these terminals are burnt, which means we don't need to replace this, um, which is good because I didn't really want to. It's a little ugly getting in there to replace it without having the wires or the splices being in a really bad spot. Um, so. We are good on that note. Uh, it's, we are left with process elimination with a bad resistor. So um, we can do tests of that as well. We can use our multimeter to do resistance checks. And then what we're gonna find is, uh, what we have to find since none of the settings work is this two pin from that down here to this little uh, the end of the high resistor that has to be broken in there so all these other spots may or may not have connection with each other but there definitely will not be any resistance between two and one and normally in a good resistor pack of this design two and one should have zero resistance but it's going to be open loop so let's get that set up all right, I don't know how well you'll see that, but this is exactly as we suspected. We are on those last two pins. One of those is the full ground for the high setting that comes from the control module. And the other is the terminal that goes down to the blower motor. Um, back in our wiring diagram, those are supposed to be directly connected. There should not be any resistance. And I know there's a lot of glare but it says open loop. And back to there, we are on two and one. Those should be connected. And that's why we don't have a blower uh, speed on any speeds. Because in this case, it is just a matter of blower motor resistor. Thankfully, because that's really easy to change and we don't have to deal with this. So we'll do that. And then everything will be good. We won't even need to change the um, uh, the fan because the fan is spinning. So we are good. We'll swap that out with a new one, and we'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. Well, we got the resistor out um, because it's this style. We can't really see 
uh, where exactly it's broken or burnt through. Um, but sure enough, somewhere between these two pins, there's supposed to be connection, and there isn't. Um, so, but I thought I'd show you this. Um, there's not really much to see on this one, but it's just bad. We'll throw a new one in there, and uh, away we go.